Here we have Ed's first swim. So we have a slightly forward looking head. Arms going a full extension out front with slight extra reach. Legs are kicking slightly wide, causing just a little bit of drag. So we want to try and get just a little bit more form control on this, so getting the head down slightly. It's going to allow the legs to kick a little smaller. Getting those hands from overreaching uh, is going to allow you to get into a better catch position. So it's not going to change your body line as much. So here we've got a nice descent of the arm. Head positions down. Legs have come up more. One thing I'm noticing here is that you're kicking and you're forgetting your legs. So after you kick, don't just let them drift apart. That's drag. Kick, get them back together. This is going to allow you to make the most of the propulsion you created by not having drag to slow you down. Over the water. So there's a slight elbow lift back. So this is causing some over rotation in the stroke. So as we do the recovery portion of the stroke, we want to focus on that elbow going forward and away, not back and behind us. So as we exit, it should be elbow forward and away. Much better. So this takes a lot of focus, but it widens your recovery and allows you to balance better. It also prevents you from pulling the elbow back, causing the over rotation. So there is some still showing up here, but your first few strokes were nice and focused. So another way to tell if you're over rotating is that on the recovery portion of the stroke, it pushes you under the water. So here we can see that happening on the right arm. As it recovers, the head bobs down. So you have a much nicer tracking on the right on this one. So we still have some sinking. Good job.